Actually, it's one of my favorite times of the month because it is my empties video time. I have quite a bit of empties. In case you don't know, I am moving um, actually on Monday, so four days from now. So I've really been trying to get through a lot of my products. I have such a big stash and I've been trying to just work through, work through. And I also have quite a few products that are on their last leg, which is really agitating because I don't want to move products that are like that, but I'm not going to just throw stuff away. I just can't do that. So I usually try to organize this, but we're just going to go. We're just going to go. Um, if you've been watching me for a while, you've seen this. This is my Holy Grail favorite shampoo and conditioner. This one is the conditioner. It's the Herbal Essence Totally Twisted Curl Conditioner. It smells delicious. It smells like berries. And actually, I get a lot of compliments when I wear it from, like, the men folk or really anyone. Um, but I really, really like it. And I highly recommend it. And I've tried quite a bit, even, like, higher-end products. And I like that so much better. And it works well for my curls. This is the Summer Eve Island Sma Splash Cleansing Wash. It's for your lady bits. I recommend it. Um, keeps the smell at bay. And it also is, it doesn't dry you out like regular soap can. Um, and I've like talked to gynecologists about it since gynecologists tested. So if you're a lady, I recommend this. Um, I used this mask. I actually have a picture of me on my Instagram is what it's called using it it's a black sheet mask let me see it was so saturated i mean it's still wet i didn't want to use it again because i thought it'd be weird but it was so saturated so you put this on your face you look real sexy highly recommend this um if you're trying to get a man wear this um and it's like there's so much product still in this thing i could probably just slap it on my face um, but you put it on and then you massage the rest of it in. It says the pore minimalist. And I do have pretty big pores right around here. I may have saw the slightest bit of pore size reduction, but not really anything to write home about. Nothing I would say is worth the price tag. All right. I used up this uh, conditioner, the L'Oreal Ever Curl Sulfate Free Conditioner. I don't like this at all. Um, they come out with so many of their hair products. I don't like the smell. It broke. It's, it says it's hibiscus and grapeseed. It, it smells kind of floral and slightly herbally. I just don't love that. And I don't love what it does to my hair. The shampoo just kind of sits. It doesn't lather at all. I have to use so much to make it lather. And this didn't make my hair very soft. It made it feel like soft in the shower. But then I'd come out of the shower and it didn't feel soft. So I didn't love that. Alright. I used up the Sonia Kashuk Blush brush cleanser I like this I do have these uh, a sample size of the um, beauty blender solid cleanser so I'm gonna try that next um, it this was nice I don't know if it was worth the money though um because it's all I've ever really tried I tried the liquid beauty blender cleanser and I did not like that at all I liked this better so I'll report back but I did find I mean I thought it worked well all right next we've got this Nivea In Shower Body Lotion. It's a little sample. I got this in my Walmart beauty box. I got the one for very dry skin, and I hate it. I thought it made my skin feel really dried out and not moisturized at all. So I know a lot of people are raving about it, but I didn't like it. And I know that it's like you're supposed to, it's not a body wash. It's a wash, and then you put that on in the shower. So I don't even see how that really saves you that much time because you're still putting lotion all over yourself. I don't know. I didn't like it. Oh my gosh, I've had this for so long. This is the Spa Perfect Hand and Body Lotion in the scent Vanilla Sugar Cookie. This is in the Dollar Bin at Target. And it smells good. It smells very vanilla-y. Um, but the first, ing well, no. One, two. The fifth ingredient is paraffin, which is like a wax. And it feels waxy on your skin. Like, I would rub it in and I felt like... I had wax on my, my fingers, and I, I didn't like it at all, so I wouldn't recommend this guy. This was in my 5 by Cinco de Mayo. I think that's what it was in. This is the Marc Jacobs um, Lip Vinyl, Lust for Lacquer Lip Vinyl, I think, in the shade Kissability. Um, you can't, I took out the stopper. It smells so good. It smells like a sweet peppermint. And this is like a nude shade with some gold glitter. It wasn't as 
it wasn't great. It was okay, but it wasn't as pigmented as I would like. And it did give you kind of a tingling sensation, ever so slightly. Um, these are real expensive. So for the price, I would love it to be like full on lip color opaque and it was not. So I wouldn't purchase that. The Crest 3D White Toothpaste. I get every last drop out of my toothpaste. This is okay. It's not as good as my Crest Pro Health. I love that. I think it's better for, like, I don't know if it's better for my teeth by any means, but I just think it makes my teeth actually whiter and it just makes my mouth feel cleaner. So this is okay, but it's not my favorite. Would not repurchase. This is an Estee Lauder cleanser. It's the Soft Clean Tender Cleanser. It smells kind of soapy. Um, and what I do is I use a different cleanser or makeup wipe to take off every last bit of makeup on my skin. And then I use this as a second cleanse. I really did like this. It was really nice and moisturizing. Like it, it made my skin feel clean. It was really soft and gentle cleanser. But it was also moisturizing. So I did really enjoy this. But I'm not sure I would pay for it because it doesn't take off makeup. Like my um, Liz Earl, so, uh, what is it called? Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish. I love that and it takes off makeup so well. This one doesn't take off makeup, but it's a nice second cleanse. And speaking of the cleanse and polish, I used up my sample finally. I love this so much. Takes off my makeup incredibly well. Birchbox has a duo where you can get this and then two of the muslin cloths, which aren't necessary, but I think it just, it kind of is a very gentle exfoliation, which is great for me because I have dry skin and I really like the way my foundation applies the next day if I use it with the muslin cloth. Um, so I, I'm trying to get through some things. Again, I'm moving, but my next Birchbox full size order will include that. I can guarantee that. This is um, a thing of the cotton ovals, the dual sided cotton ovals from Up and Up. I tried something different. I always throw this in because I have a box that I keep them in. So I actually still have some of these left. So they're huge. I don't like these. Um, they have like a smooth side that's supposed to be really soft and then like a more textured side. I don't like them. I like the padded cotton squares more. And you only get 50 in here, so that's really not that much. So I wouldn't recommend those. Um, I finally got to try the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poilus. I got a little sample. Again, I just went through. Well, I'll show you. Um, this is gone. I just filmed. I'm in the same outfit. I'm sure you, you know that if you saw that video. Um, my 15 and 15 update. So um, I'll link that below. I don't know which one of these is going to go up first, actually. So anyway. Um, I finished up my Maybelline Fit Me. This is the original in 125. And so I got to try the Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I don't like either one of them. I actually like the, this one has, is so transfer. Not, what's the opposite of resistant? I don't know. It transfers everywhere, all over the place. You hug somebody that you're going to get orange foundation all over the place. And I didn't like the way it sat on my skin. This one I actually liked better, which is weird. Um, I didn't find that it transferred. It, it did do nice things for my pores. It did make me poreless. No. Um, but it's not great. I have other foundations I like better. But it's alright. Um, I used up this body lotion. The Victoria's Secrets Vanilla Lace. It's vanilla and musk scented. I really like the scent of this. Yeah. It's very vanilla. It's really great because I think these body lotions are amazing. I think they are excuse me, super, super moisturizing, and I actually can feel, like, more moisturized, obviously, um, but, um, I really, and I really like the scent because, I'm sorry, I feel so off, let me rephrase, I have two of them, Vanilla Lace Amber Romance, these are so moisturizing and nice, but because they are very scented, sometimes they can be overpowering depending on what else you have, both of these scents I really liked because I felt like they complement perfumes. They're not so overpowering that they're going to take over a perfume. This is Vanilla Lace again. Vanilla and Musk smells really nice. But my favorite is the Amber Romance. If you watch me, you know I like the deeper, sexier, darker scents. Yeah. It smells like Amber. Amber and Crim and Glacy or whatever that says. But I do really like those body lotions. I used up this little mini moisturizer. I was using it in the day. It's the CRX Birch Sap Moisturizing Lotion for Preventative Aging. It smells like oranges, which is awesome. And it smells like orange rind, like 
fresh oranges and it was okay it was nicely moisturizing it wasn't anything to write home about it was fine you know I don't have any like definitive opinions on it this is the caviar the alterna excuse me caviar CC cream 10 in 1 complete correction leave-in hair perfecter so a lot of people I know love this stuff um, I just put it in after I take a shower and it's okay um, they have a different one from the caviar brand I think that I like better um, so I don't think I know alterna caviar is so expensive so I don't think I would be purchased that and my last product is exciting wait a minute oh I'm sorry I'm, I told y'all I'm kind of a mess I have two more products and they're both exciting because they're both nail polishes I used up the Maybelline vintage leather Maybelline color show vintage leather collection shade um, or polish I'm sorry 860 red relic is the shade it is what I have on now it doesn't look like it's used up but trust me it is gone and it's really chunky and gross and I couldn't even get polish out of it like even like leaving it upside down um, and it broke I don't love this I know that this is limited edition you can't find it anymore but if you find it at a big lot or something I don't love it it's matte but it's got these weird like opalescent pieces in it but it doesn't look it sounds like it might be pretty but it's not and it's chunky even brand new it's chunky and doesn't apply well so I don't love this and last but not least this is sad this is my Revlon color stay gel base coat this had gotten so dried out that I couldn't grab anymore and I got strings when I would take it out and like even scraping it I couldn't I just couldn't get any more so they don't make this anymore which is really sad I want to try the Orly gel bonder I think that might be similar to this but if you have a base coat that you would recommend please leave it down below and that's it I used up quite a bit of products this month I'm really excited about that um, thank you so much for watching leave any questions comments down below everything's on my Facebook to me down below as well and I will see you all real soon bye